Staffing struggles are now hitting some popular recreation spots. Salt Lake County officials say public indoor pools may have to close due to the worker shortage. News specialist Morgan Wolf listened in on a meeting where a discussion about this topic got pretty tense. Morgan? This was a very long meeting talking about the big county budget. This pool section is just one tiny bit of it. But there were a couple of board members that raised the question, how did this happen? To which pool officials said over the summer they were fine until they had a lot of their employees that are students had to go back to class this fall. So Salt Lake County Mayor Jenny Wilson has proposed an increase for employees in next year's budget, hoping that if they offer a more competitive pay, then they can attract more employees. They're going to be raising the current employees 2% to 2.75% and a minimum living wage of $15 an hour for all permanent full-time employees. Salt Lake County is looking to recruit more lifeguards to go through the proper training and to get certified. So leaders are hopeful that this incentive will help them. A lot of pools have had to reduce some of their hours or they close off some sections during the operating hours. And so their hope is that with a higher pay for their staff, they won't have to do any of this and they can have a normal indoor pool situation throughout the rest of the season. In Salt Lake City, I'm Morgan Wolf, Live at 5. All right, Morgan.